time to go. I guess we have to find some new paint jobs sooner or later. Yeah, we'll be brave. Yeah. You ready? Yeah. What's wrong? Page missing. But not just what. Half the pages have been ripped out. This one, too. Sophie's completely ruined the books. How vindictive. I don't believe it. <laughs> Trying to get back at me is one thing. But destroying these books is... Well, apart from anything, they're very expensive. And they have sentimental value. They were given to me by my daughter. Sophie, what on earth got into you? Oh, why do you both automatically assume it was me? It's not fair, Pippa. You promised me you'd believe me from now on. Sweetheart, I honestly don't know what to think. I mean, these books were in your care. Oh, look, you thought it was me that cheated on that essay, didn't you? But it wasn't, was it? No. Then why do you think I'm lying now? Oh, well, wait a minute. What's this about cheating? Oh, we had a bit of trouble in school today. I told Tracy we wouldn't tell you. But... She copied my essay. Tried to pass it off as her own work. Right. And you put her on detention. She's the one that ripped up your books. She gets back at you and gets me into trouble. Perfect setup, as usual. Look, Soph, I would like nothing more than to believe you had nothing to do with this, but Tracy deserves to have her say too, so I'm going upstairs to get her, all right? <laughs> It's just dumb. As, as if I'd do something like that. I've been in enough trouble lately. I'd have to be pretty stupid to make it even worse for myself. Oh, why? You knew everybody would think it was me. Sophie, that's enough. You've had your say. It's Tracy's turn now. But she's lying. She's just angry. She got caught for copying my history essay. Oh, come on. Oh, hang on. I remember now. Those books were lying on my bed and I told Tracy I was taking them back to Mrs Lynch because I didn't want any more favours from her. Especially after she didn't believe me about the essay. And then you came in and asked me to help you fold those sheets, remember? Yes, that's right. So what does all this prove? Well, it proves that you had the opportunity to rip up the books and get me into trouble. All because of a lousy detention? Oh, get real, Sophie. Besides, we were going to be friends, remember? Look, quite frankly, I don't care who did it anymore. I just hope whoever it was is proud of themselves, that's all. These were the only things of Kelly's that I kept. And now they're ruined. A charming couple of girls you've got under your roof, Pippa. Right, girls, that's it. Upstairs and I don't want to see either of you for the rest of the day. Is that understood? Margaret, please, wait. Oh, I'm sorry, Pippa. I didn't mean to sound off at you. It's not your fault. I just don't believe that either of them could do anything so vicious. I can't tell you how sick I felt when I opened the books and oh. saw what had been done to me. Well, I can imagine. Look, I know it's no compensation, Margaret, but I'd really like to pay for the books. The girls are my responsibility, after all. You don't have to do that. No, I'd really like to. I mean, they can be replaced, can't they? Oh, I suppose so. Like I said, it's their sentimental value that concerns me most. Can't put a price on that. Margaret, she didn't look too happy. Yeah, you won't be either when I tell you what's been going on. I can't believe even you do something like that. A couple of beautiful books that didn't even belong to you, you just rip up without even thinking oh, about it. Come on, what's with all this concern all of a sudden? You're just jealous you didn't think of it first. Oh, what? You're even sicker than I thought you know that. Admit it, you hate Lynch's guts. Look, I don't know why Pippa just doesn't send you away. There is no getting through to you, is there? Drop it, Sophie. The bitch asked for it. No, she didn't. Those books have meant a hell of a lot to her. You saw how upset she was. Look, Mrs Lynch doesn't deserve that no matter what she did to you. Well, I reckon she did. Sophie, Tracy. Pippa told you what happened, huh? Yeah, and she's too upset to even come up here and talk to you. Yeah, we know she didn't even want to look at us. Well, can you blame her? Now, look, I am fed up to the back teeth with a pair of you. You've been making everyone's life miserable for weeks. Well, it stops now. Today was the last straw. Whoever did it's got till tomorrow to tell the truth. Do you understand? I'll leave it with you. Thanks.
Thanks. Now, sweetheart, do you think you could go upstairs and get the girls' plates, please? Do I have to? Well, I don't think they're going to sprout wings and walk down here by themselves. Mm -hmm. Of course, I could be wrong. I thought I told you girls I didn't want to see you again tonight. Unless, of course, you're wanting to tell the truth about the books. I am telling the truth, people. I didn't touch them, honest. Oh, liar. Right. That's it. Both of you upstairs now, please. Sophie, I said upstairs. I left my maths book down here somewhere. I need it to do my homework. Well, you go and find it quickly and then straight back up to your room. I wish I could stay at someone's house tonight. It's awful around here when everyone's fighting. I hate it. Yeah, I know, sweetheart. So do I. But really, it's all part of being in a family. I mean, you can't just hang around for the good bits. You've got to put up with all the bits. Yeah, but there haven't been any good bits lately. Hey, what are you doing? Just dubbing some classical music so Marilyn and I can listen to it while we're painting. All right. Sophie, I said upstairs and I meant it. Yeah, OK. Have you seen Pippa? Oh, I don't think she's up yet. Yeah, well, if she doesn't hurry up, I'll be late. <laughs> yeah, well, you might just have to get your own breakfast this morning, Sal. There's not a lot to it. You just put the cereal in the bowl and then the milk. Oh, but no one pours milk like Pippa, do they, Sal? I'll do it. Hey, Hayden, you know that cassette recorder you were using the other day? Uh, can I borrow it? Yeah, I think it's in my room. What do you want it for? I've just got to make someone a tape. Oh, go for it. Sorry, I'm running late. It's OK. Sal's got breakfast under control. <laughs> yeah, it took me ages to get back to sleep. And then when I did get back to sleep, I overslept. Dad's snoring. Oh, what else? Didn't you hear him? Yeah, of course. Had to put a pillow over my head to get back to sleep. Be, yeah, that's enough, thanks. Michael's on his way down. You know how sensitive he is about this, so I don't want a word from any of you. I'll speak to him later when you're at school, all right? Yeah, uh, can I just get that cassette recorder? Yeah, it's on my desk, I think. Oh, thanks. So, are you going to admit you tore the pages out of Margaret's books? Oh, get real. Why should I? Well, Michael only gave us until this morning to tell the truth. So? I don't think I've ever seen him so mad. We're both going to suffer with this, you know. You reckon? So, if deep down inside, everybody thinks it was you. I mean, you were the one who has a real grudge against her for making your teacher's pet. Worked out uh, pretty good, eh? I get back at Mrs Lynch and you get the blame. I, um... Wouldn't be surprised if you got the flick altogether after all this. Yeah, I reckon I'm going to enjoy having this room all to myself. When you make up your mind to be stubborn, you really make up your mind, don't you? Uh, don't mind me. Hang on a sec, Trace. We've still got a few things to sort out. Oh, look, I'm sorry, Michael. I've been working on Sophie all night. She's just not going to do that she did it. Worked out uh, pretty good, eh? I get back to Mrs Lynch and you get the blame. I um, wouldn't be surprised if you got the flick all together after all this. Happy? I meant all that stuff seriously, do you? Yes, I do. Thanks a lot, Pippa. You don't know what it's been like trying to fit into this place. Sophie trying to blame me for everything she does. Look, right now, all I'm concerned about is who tore the pages out of Margaret's books. Well, she did. She tricked me into saying that I did it just to cover herself. That's your story, is it? She's lying, Pippa. You know what she's like. Tracy, it would be a lot easier on everyone, including yourself, if you just own up, all right? So you believe her over me? This whole thing is a joke. All right, I did it. You happy now? What? No, uh, no, not particularly. What I suggest you do is go straight downstairs now and apologise to Sophie, Forget all right? It. Uh, Tracy, that wasn't a request, I'm telling you. I said no. You and your stupid Brady bunch. You're all pathetic. Why don't you go and ring family and community services right now and tell them to come and get me? The sooner I'm out of this place, the better. What did Pippa say? Well, I don't know. They've gone upstairs to discuss it in private. It's going to be horrible living in the same house with her after all this. I don't think you've got too much to worry about on that score, Sal. Why? What happened? Tracy is leaving. Uh, yeah? Did you chuck her out? No, it was her choice. As a foster parent, there's nothing I can do to stop her except try and talk her out of it, and I didn't have much luck on that score. Why bother? Look, everyone deserves a second chance, you know, Soph, even Tracy. Uh, yeah, how come I didn't get the benefit of the doubt? Sweetheart, everyone makes mistakes. 
even adults. I mean, I'm really sorry about what happened to you, okay? Yeah, I just forget it, it doesn't matter. So, when's you going? Well, as soon as I can arrange for somebody from Family and Community Services to pick her up. Does that mean everything will be back to normal? What it means, Sal, is that I really messed this one up. Mrs. Ross, it's me. Oh, hi, Karen, come in. Is Tracy in? Yeah, she's upstairs. Is it okay if we go up there? Yep. Yeah, well, you better hurry up, because she won't be around much longer. I can't force you to go if you don't want to. It's my idea. What are you talking about? <sighs> I am sick of playing happy families, all right? I'm getting out. Why don't you just wait until things calm down a bit? What's the point? It's not going to get any better. It might. Oh, sure, if Sophie drops dead. Trace, she's not that bad. Well, you're welcome to her. So you really go, huh? You will keep in touch with me, won't you? If you want. Yeah, maybe at the end of the year I could quit school and we'll get a flat together or something. <laughs> you and me. Yeah, don't you think we'd make great fat mates? No. Why not? We're friends, aren't we? Get real. Karen, I just wanted to go one up on Sophie. You were part of the deal. We're all on our own, Karen. You better get used to the idea. Sophie, I want to say I'm sorry. For what? For helping Tracy score some points off you and for being a rat. Yeah, well, it's a bit late, isn't it? That's up to you. What happened? Did she tell you to me? No. Oh, Ben, why else would you come crawling back? Yeah, OK, I was sucked in by her. But I've made a mistake and now I'm really sorry, OK? If I hadn't known what she was like, I wouldn't have done it. Especially the bit about the cigarettes. Look, I know I'm asking a lot and I probably don't deserve it, but I just want to know if we can be friends again like we used to be. You're right. What? You don't deserve it. I've contacted Fax. There'll be someone to pick you up after lunch. Great. I can always phone them back if you've had second thoughts. No way. Tracy. Just don't give me a big speech, all right? Well, could you at least let me know why you won't give it a go. I deserve that much, don't you think? Oh, why? So you can sleep better at night? No, I really would like to know. I mean, I'm actually not particularly proud of the fact that you coming to live with us didn't work out. But I, I also don't believe that you should be proud of the fact that you lied to us for so long, either. Just looking after number one, wasn't I? What sort of attitude is that, Tracy? Cold survival. What, getting what you can out of people and then moving on, is that right? There are other ways. Such as? Being part of a family. It's worked for hundreds of other kids, you know. Oh, well, good for them. Pushing away the people who care about you is not going to get you very far, sweetheart. Right. So this is where we hug and make up, right? No, I... I just wanted to tell you that you don't have to do it on your own. Tracy. after school? Why? You want to plant some more cigarettes in my bag? Being a bit hard on her, aren't you? Yeah, well, she deserved it. Pippa told me about Tracy's unintentional confession. Congratulations. Yeah, well, I had to do something to get people to believe me. Yes, well, despite everything, I had a feeling you weren't that guilty person. A feeling? Big deal, you still didn't want to know me. Can you meet up at lunchtime? There's something I want to talk to you about. So... I thought friends were supposed to be loyal. Well, I'm not saying that she's right. Just that there's nothing to be gained from hanging on to a grudge. She knows that she did the wrong thing, and that's the main thing. Yeah, I'll think about it. You do that. And think about that shopping. Sophie, did you think about it? Yeah, I'd love to. Oh, well, uh, how about we meet at my place in the morning? Great, I can't wait. See you then. See ya. Hey, I'll give you a hand. Thanks. 
Look, I'm really sorry about giving you a hard time. Maybe we could still be friends? <laughs> could sound like you mean it. I do. I wouldn't say it otherwise, Karen. I suppose I can't expect things to get back to normal straight away, can I? Yeah, well, it was a pretty mean statue put on me. I know, Sophie. But I'm prepared to try if you are. Yeah, sure. Do you want to go down the beach this afternoon? Maybe not today, OK? Fair enough. I'll see you in class. Yep. So what'll happen to her? Well, we've organised temporary accommodation. You see, now she's 16, it's up to her. We can't force her to be fostered, not if she doesn't want to be. No. Now, you mustn't think of this as a failure, Pip. I'm trying very hard not to, Steve. <laughs> so, do you think there's any chance that the grandmother would be able to take her? Well, yeah, she'd love to, but she'd never cope. Tracy. Good luck. <laughs>